Tell us why Bradford City is such a special club in your heart. Uh, Bellevue. <laughs> <laughs> Is that before, after, or during the uh, game? No, no. I suppose everybody's good. Just all good lads together. That was it. There's no big heads. No, no big heads at all. Well, no, it's all. Whatever the weather, they, they soon came down. <laughs> so, uh, they come down. Did they come down, Bob? <laughs> what was your favourite memory? I can't really think about that. Warm of 1982. Yeah, that was a good day, yeah, but this, more or less, I suppose, when. Uh, and then he put my, yeah, yeah, and then he put my shin that I jumped on the wall, didn't I? And I was being like, first stepped on the wall. I'm glad he played for the full time because that was coming off. <laughs> <laughs> and when you played for us in the Premier League, um, you've had some fantastic days down here, haven't you? Yeah, brilliant. Obviously, the one everybody remembers is uh, I was grateful to play a part in the victory against Liverpool. But uh, oh. special day, I think, when we beat Arsenal here. Yeah. I mean, that was a good Arsenal team that we beat 2 1, so fantastic. Who day. were you marking on that day? I can't remember. <laughs> 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 Sent about 11, 12 of them <laughs> at the time. But. I, I, I remember when I missed out, I missed out to, to uh, Ipswich, I lost here to Ipswich, that was a band. Because Terry Dolan had a, had a good say, played, played the whole season, Terry. We'll be seeing tomorrow. Yeah. Terry's coming along tomorrow. One of the best coaches I had at, had at this club, and I, and I, was, I, I never even played with him. I used to blank off Wigan sometimes and go training with them. <laughs> Jesus, I'm a lot better with Dolly now. I'm bored, bored. If you swing over to John and Mark here, John, if you remember 1987-88, Terry Dolan nearly got us up into the top yeah. flight, didn't he? That was a great team, wasn't it, yourself? Yeah. Stuart, Greg Abbott, Peter Litchfield, Paul Tomlinson and girls. No, Peter Litchfield, wasn't it, back then? That's right. Yeah. We, were, we were stones throw away, I tell you what. I mean, when you leave a football club, people always say, let's say, uh, they're better than what they think they are. We were the other way around. Mm -hmm. You can speak for the boys here, Big Sticks. We, we thought we weren't that good. We thought we were just going to do it. It wasn't until I left, I thought, geez, oh, we, we, were, we were a good side mm -hmm. there. And it was, uh, it was like Cavalier football at times as well. It was attacking football when it was certainly got the crowd off their feet. And it was, it was exciting times to play because it was, no one fancied us as a team. But we just went out there, rolled the sleeves up and got on with the job in hand. A, to win games and B, to entertain them. We certainly done both. The thing it cost us in the end was just the lack of bodies in mm. the place because you look at the amount of players that football clubs have nowadays, we had very, very small squads and I think Terry Dolan, well, well documented, Terry wanted a couple of players in. If he'd have got them, then it would have been different then. But it was it was brilliant playing in them days, brilliant. And you played for Bradford City, so I'm, I've got all your emails and all the girls at reception have been ringing around getting people today, so it's just going to grow and grow. It'll start small today, but tomorrow we're doing it is it 50, 60s and 70s would you say tomorrow so harking back to the old days we'll do the same thing with them and they'll have similar sort of stories won't they that sort of thing